Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, I gotta explain typedef in C. Typedef is a reserved keyword. It gives an existing data type a sort of nickname. By using typedef, it helps simplify complex types and improves code readability. You type typedef, an existing data type, and then a new name you want to give it. Here's a demonstration. Let's create three integers. Int x equals some number, three. That's the first thing that came to mind. Int y equals four int z equals x plus y. And then I'll output z using printf. Printf, I'm printing an integer. I will output whatever z is. z will equal seven. Well, what if I told you that we can rename int and give it a nickname that's maybe a little more readable? We would have to use that typedef keyword and we'll do so outside of the main function. Type typedef, an existing data type, then a nickname. Type def, an existing data type, in this case int, since we're working with integers. Let's rename ints as numbers. Number. And then we can use this nickname. Number x, number y, number z. And this works the same. Number z is 7. Now, I would still stick to ints because that still is readable. But this is a demonstration that you can rename data types to something else. Here's another example. We're going to create our own strings. Normally in C, to create a string, you need a character array. Char name. It's an array. Then assign it some characters. Type in your first name and last name. Then I will output my name using printf. Printf, we're displaying a string, percent %s. I will display my name. And this will output whatever your name is, your first name and last name. Now, in many other programming languages to create a string, the data type is string, usually with a capital or lowercase s, then a variable name without that set of straight brackets. But we're going to recreate that. We need that keyword of type def, type def, an existing data type, char. The nickname we'll give it is string. But we do have to specify a size in C. I'll say 50 characters. Then our new data type is a string. And you don't need that set of straight brackets. And this will work the same. However, in C, we've set a maximum size of 50. We'll allocate 50 bytes to display each of these strings. If you're familiar with pointers, you could use a pointer instead. Then you don't have to specify a size. But that's a more advanced topic We'll say that each string has a maximum size of 50 bytes, 50 characters, just to keep it simple. Now we'll create a set of initials. Normally this is a character array. We'll say user1. This is an array. Equals. Use the initials for your first name and last name. And then we'll display our initials. Stored in a character array of user1. My initials are BC for my YouTube channel. Let's do this a few more times. User2, user3, user4. User User2's initials will be SpongeBob SquarePants, SS. Patrick Star, PS. Squidward Tentacles, ST. Then we'll have a few different users. We'll need some new line characters. User1, user2, user3, user4. And here are the initials. Let's use typedef to give a name to an array of characters that can hold two letters, two characters. Again, type typedef, char, since we're working with characters. Let's give these a nickname of initials. Now the size is actually going to be three because you need that null terminator at the end. Two characters and a null terminator, technically. All right, now we can use this nickname. Initials, 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 initials. And you can delete the straight brackets. And this will work the same. We have our set of initials. All right, everybody, that's the type def keyword. It's a reserved keyword that gives an existing data type a nickname. It helps simplify complex types and improves code readability. You type type def, an existing data type, and then a new name, a nickname, so to say. 
And well, everybody, that is the type def keyword in C.